What advice do you have for students taking your final exams? I would start studying as early as possible so you're not trying to study for all of them two days before exams start. When you're taking final exams, uh, I guess the most important thing is just be confident. At this point, you probably know what you're going to know, but if you want to study, uh, it would be a good idea to focus study. Don't sit down with nine chapters of things that you have to learn. Sit down and think about what it is that you don't know. What, can, what gaps can you fill in your knowledge? Uh, and focus on that. That's uh, much easier to do than, uh, than try to relearn nine chapters that you've taken over the year. I think one of the best things they can do is spread out their study time and not try to cram for a long period of time at once. 20 minutes a day over especially your harder subjects will do you more good over a lot of days. The more contact will help the content stick. Study by all means. Eat a good breakfast, get a good night's sleep, all those things you've been taught. Read all the questions or read all the answer choices as well. In your opinion, how hard are your exams? It really depends on the class. Uh, if you're in my games class, uh, you've been working on your final for you know two and a half weeks, so that's that's no big deal. If you are in an algebra two class, uh, it depends on whether you're honors or not honors. Uh, if you're in the regular class, uh, make sure that you have good notes, and I can't imagine that you'd be too tense about that. If you're in the honors class. Um, Go to church. I don't think they're too bad if the students have been with me all along paying attention and doing their work. I don't think they're too hateful. They're not that hard. It depends on how much you study, how much time and effort you put into it. If you didn't do very well on midterms, then I would put more time into studying for your exams. Your tests and quizzes should already be corrected, so you can start studying now. How much studying do you recommend for your exams? Depends on which class. A couple of my classes are project-based exams, so um, that depends on where they're going with their projects. But if they read over all their notes a couple times, like for CCR, that sort of thing, they should be fine. Well, you need to learn to gauge yourself and again, look at past previous tests and exams, and if you didn't do well, you need to put in more time. Uh, if you are getting ready for my exams, uh, it depends. Uh, it, it is If you have done well throughout the year, you will do well on the final. Um, look back over things, make sure that you're, you're uh, spending the right amount of time. If you, uh, if you set aside an hour a night for a couple of nights, I think that you'd be fine. Uh, if you are cramming, uh, I would suggest doing your cramming right before going to bed. That way your brain practices all night. Uh, so then you get some kind of accidental practice overnight while you're sleeping. What's the best movie you've seen all year? <laughs> So what was the best movie you saw in the school year? Probably Five Feet Apart because it made me cry. If it makes you cry, it's a good movie. If it makes you cry, it's a good movie. So what was the best movie you saw this school year? Um, probably Endgame. So what was the best movie you saw all school year? Feel the Dream. Okay. So what was the best movie you saw all year? That's really. I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, Groundhog. Well, that's a good one. We got. What was the best movie you saw all school year? I feel like you asked me wrong. Look at the book. I don't know. I don't even know if I've watched. it. That's good. The best movie you watched all school year. I mean, it wasn't really a movie, but I loved watching PNN when my boyfriend Noah Struck was in it. That's fine. We'll get both of you. Okay. All right. So what was the best movie you saw all school year? The Great Gatsby. Nerd. 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 What was the best movie you saw all year? Endgame. So what was the best movie you watched all school year? Force Gump. Force Gump? Force Gump. Force Gump. Okay. Littering is bad. So, Alan, what was the best movie you saw all year? I would have to say Doctor Strange. 
What what just happened? Pretty cool. <laughs> so what was the best movie you saw all year? Like the year starting in January? No, like, like January school year, to school, now. School, 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 year, school, school year. year. In the theater or just saw? You just saw it. So like Mission Impossible's up there, Mom. Oh dude. What if we watch more than once? <sighs> I'm going with Endgame on that one. So you're going with Endgame? I am. So, your favorite movie you saw all year was Endgame. So, say it again. I think the favorite movie I saw all year was Endgame. Alright, great. What's your favorite memorable sports play? My most memorable sports play was when, during a basketball game, we shot it, I shot it, oh wait no. Someone shot a basket and it got stuck in the rim and I tried to jump up and get the ball out uh, unstuck and I missed it by probably like a foot. My favorite memorable sports play is when we went to Elgin for basketball. Why was it your favorite? It was my favorite because I had 25 points and we played hard. Uh, my favorite memorable sports play was during the uh, Highland game back in 2015 where it was 21 to 21 and I, Coach Jerry told me to go out and kick a field goal, and so I did, and I made it, and it was just very exciting, and that was my first ever field goal, and it just inspired myself to be a better kicker, and it was just fun to go out there and kick with all those people. There's a lot of sports that I play, so I'd say my favorite game, which is the state finals last year with the softball team. That was my favorite because it was the farthest you can go in the tournament and obviously the team deserved to be there and it was just a good time playing with the girls. My favorite memorable sports play is at North Warren when I dove, uh, made a diving catch in right field. Why was that your favorite? Uh, mainly because everyone was screaming uh, for me. Most of all, Brett screaming like a baby. What athlete did you look up to growing up? Uh, probably Michael Jordan because, you know, he when he was in high school, his coach said that he's not going to the NBA and all that stuff. And then, you know, he's in the NBA and then he retired and now he's with the Celtics or Charlotte Hornets or whatever. And I kind of do that too, but with the NFL. Um, I looked up to Jessica Shook just because when I was a freshman, she was kind of there for me and, you know, kind of took me in and we hung out. And, you know, she's just a really positive role model overall. Um, I looked up to Brandon Phillips, who played for Cincinnati Reds, just because he gave it his all. Uh, my favorite athlete was probably Russell Westbrook from OKC, just because he played hard. Uh, the athlete I looked up to growing up was the uh, NBA player Wayne Wade. Uh, I really liked watching him play and uh, what he could get bring to the team, and I loved buying all of his jerseys and t-shirts. What was it like being a part of the variety show? No, it was a good experience. I had a lot of fun um, setting up and helping him and just jamming out with my buds. That was really all it was like. It was, it was fun. It was a good experience. Dumb, what was it like working the variety show? It was great, you know? I actually had to do stuff unlike most things. That's all you get. What was it like working the variety show? Working the variety show was honestly a blast. I had a lot of fun just jamming out with my friends and playing music, which I don't, we don't really get to play gigs a lot, so that was a fun opportunity. Seen my share of broken halos. Sitting on 
thousand miles, place I was born. Live in a world that needs time. Live in a world that needs Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of So, uh, recently, of course, probably all of you went out and saw Avengers Endgame. Don't spoil it. No one I did, and like he said, we are not going to be spoiling it in this review. Go ahead. So I really thought that the movie did a great job wrapping up really all the things that have happened in the 21 Marvel movies before it, and I thought every character came to the point that they needed to be at, and that everyone's ending felt right. Certain characters still have room to grow and keep moving in this MCU, and other characters, their stories are coming to an end, and that's good. Endgame, if they stopped making Marvel movies right now, everyone would be satisfied, because this was seriously the best Marvel movie I have seen to date. I, I agree, Ryan. It was perfectly balanced, as all things should be. All right, so my final review is 10 out of 10 Arthur Morgans, which is the first perfect movie on PNN. I'm going to give it a 9.8 Arthur Morgans out of 10, just because I, I don't know. You don't want to give it a 10? No, I, I want to give it a 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> there you go. Nice fake out. All right, so this is our last movie review of the year, and we will see you all next year.